We're going to take up compound sentences. I think we all know how to make a simple sentence. Uh, you know, it is essentially an independent clause. A clause is a subject and a verb. Uh, usually in a sentence we'll add uh, other information to it, uh, describing maybe what they're doing. It uh, tells us more about the subject and verb students walked. You know, we don't know anything about the students, you know, except they walked. And we add sentences or other words to it to help us. And we here we take a, a article, the, the students walked. And, you know, this is a, particularizes this group. It's not a student or an and student or whatever. It's, it's the students. So then we added the preposition phrase to describe what they've done to the beach. So we we're essentially saying the students walk to the beach. So that's a sentence. A sentence needs a subject and a verb, and it has to make complete sense. It has to tell us something. Over here we have another sentence. They went for a swim. Okay. Well, it tells us what they did. They went for a swim. So it's a subject and verb. They went. Independent clause. Okay. With a prepositional phrase for a swim. And gives us a complete sentence. They went for a swim. Okay. We can put a comma after each one of those, and there are two separate sentences, and we can put one after the other, but it tends to be choppy. In other words, a, a period is a, what I call a complete stop. It means you stop, and then you go to the next sentence. Okay, the students walked to the beach. They went for a swim. Two comma, two periods. Okay, a period here and a period there. So to make things a little bit smoother, we add a comma instead of a period, which is a shorter, a short pause in in the, in the sentence. In other words, if we just use commas, the students walked to the beach, they went for a swim. But in this case, we use a transitional, or not a transitional, or a coordinate conjunction. Coordinate mean we coordinate this one to this one. And is a coordinated junction. It brings these two sentences together. So we have the students walk to the beach, pause, comma, and they went for a swim. Much better transition. The students walk to the beach, and they went for a swim. Now, there's three different ways that we can join these independent or sentences together. And uh, they are mentioned down here. I'll, I'll move, move ourselves down. We don't need uh, that title. So we can see the other part of this. Okay. We can use a linking word or coordinated conjunction with a comma, which we have in this sentence. Okay? Coordinate conjunctions are and, but, are, so, and such words. The R we can use a semicolon with a transitional word. In other words, a word that particularly makes a transition from one to another. It's not coordinating it, it's transitioning it. And here we have examples of therefore and however. So that would be the students walked to the beach, semicolon, therefore they went for a swim, which is a putting it together with a semicolon and a transitional word. The other one is they show, they can show, they must show, okay, I'm sorry, we're still up here, Using, we can just use a semicolon without a transition. So we have the students walk to the beach, semicolon, they went for a swim. Okay, a little more pause with that. 
So we say, if, it's, if, it's, if you say it as it's written, the students walked to the beach, they went for a swim. That's the three ways of uh, joining uh, two sentences together and make a compound sentence. Now, now we have the other rules, which I started on to, but I didn't mean to. Has more than one subject plus a verb. From one subject plus verb. Okay. Well, that's not the student's case here. It would be if the students walked to the beach, the students went for a swim. Okay. They have the same subject, but they can have a second subject, or we have the third one in this sentence, that is, the students walk to the beach and they. And they is a pronoun we use in place of students. Uh, we do that in order to uh, not sound repetitious, okay? The students walk to the beach and they went for a swim, okay? They have a tense agreement between the verbs. Oh, in this case, they are different tenses. The students walked, sort of past tense. They went for a swim. Okay, sort of future tense. Okay, uh, to put put them in both tense, the same tense. The students walk to the beach and they go for a swim. Okay. Now it also says that we can omit the second subject, and which was we have done in this one. Student is subject here. They is a pronoun used in place of students. Okay, I hope that has helped you. And uh, I will be going over many of them. We can go to complex sentences, complex, compound complex sentences, and so forth. English uh, becomes like that, and I think that gives students a lot of trouble. Okay, see you next time.